So that's the fighters' introductions of the way the ring girls are out. So with Sledge finished and the cage door shut, we're ready to go. Referee giving some last minute instructions. Again, this is an amateur bout, so no headshot standing or on the floor. With, with the two of them being grapplers, um, I'd say... Uh, also, nice kick. The amateur rules are um, very much suited to them, not with no headshots. Good takedown there from James. Jordan trying to scramble to get back to his feet. Seems oh, to be doing knees, a decent job. But to the body. So although James uh, claims to be BJJ in submission, he's obviously got decent strikes. Started off with a good kick and a good few knees there. Still working the knees on the ground. That's catching Jordan's body very well. That's the thing with MMA these days. Uh, guys can have a be submission or BJJ based, but most guys are pretty well rounded. Oh, he looks to have an anaconda choke here. He's turned into it. I think he overrolled there. Jordan did a good job of uh, seeing it coming. He needs to get out of that position. Can't quite see from this angle. Looks like he's escaped it. Head and arm back to his feet now. Oh, and he's gone to his back. I don't know if that was a mistake or a slip by James. Jordan's got top position now. And full mount. I was just about to say that before that that uh, James is looking the stronger of the two fighters throughout this round. James needs to be bridging here. He can't just lie there. He needs to bridge and escape. Try to trap an arm. With this being amateur, there's no risk of him taking shots to the head, so is, you, there's a little less urgency in trying to bridge, but it's still not a position you want to be in. If you're underneath and the other guy's in a dump position, to the judges, you are losing the, losing the fight. He needs to be bridging and working to escape from this position. And what would your advice be to uh, Jordan in this position? Uh, maybe look for side control to gain more submission attempts. Rather than working mouth, ground I'd and pound to I'd the I'd arms. I'd be using some I'd be using some ground and pound maybe to distract, look for an arm. If he extends an arm, take an arm for an arm bar. Or he can keep control. Oh, good reversal there from James. He obviously saw his opportunities now pass from half guard into side control. And into mount. Quite well transition. He's took an arm bar and he's got it. He has finished with an arm bar. Very, very quick submission. Very sharp. So when James saw his opportunity to escape from bottom, he escaped, passed guards, passed a mount, took the arm and won by armbar. <laughs> Gentlemen's Club. And let's hear it for your runner-up, John.